ready and we're about to go to the Trafford Centre. Good morning everybody. Hi Dave. Hello Alan. <laughs> <laughs> what are you picking? <laughs> Bye Katie. <laughs> so I was just sat here um, writing in my bullet journal and I realised that I hadn't actually shown you anything that I'd put in it yet. Um, I've made a few pages and um, I haven't really finished them off but I've got a few ideas there I just need to start designing. So these all will just be in just pages and I've got 2016 goals is going to be on this page. I'm going to design all my goals. Then here we've got a weight tracker and it's going to start like a graph and eventually it's going to come all the way down to whatever I want to weigh. This is going to be in every pound counts. So I'm going to start with like 224, 223, 222, so on, so on in lots of little boxes all over here to my target weight. And then every time I lose a pound, I can cross it off. So it's sort of like I can see how much I'm, how many pounds I'm losing step by step rather than just, oh, when I get to this much, I'm allowed to buy that. And this is, I've always done weight in stone, um, which I still am going to do. However, I feel as though pounds, you just see the number going down more. It makes sense in my head, but so... I'm not going to focus on the number as much because I don't know how much a pound is to a stone but if I ever need to check it I can come to this page and obviously I've not done it yet. This is a rewards list so when I get to 16 stone I can buy a face mask or when I get to 14 stone I can have a spa trip or something. I've got it written out somewhere but I can't really remember I just need to put it in and make it look all pretty. Next I've got a wish list of things I really like want to buy and then I've got a savings goal page. I really like the way this turned out. It's very simple but I think it looks really cool. Um, I do have a period tracker because they're all over the place. Then I've got a hex book club. Uh, I'm going to draw pictures of all the books that I've read. Uh, maybe do a star rating or something. I don't really know how it's going to turn out but that's that. This is going to be a bucket list page, but I've not got around to it. So this is my year at a glance page. I've got some personal stuff here. And I think this will be useful for finding out, say, when Christmas is. is it on a Saturday? Is it on a Friday? I can just come here, say I need to do something in December that I need to remember. I'll just put the date there and then write what it is next to it. And then when I get to my December at a glance page, I'll be able to write it in straight away. So this is my July at a glance page. So it's got all the dates down here and I can see what if I've got anything to do in the morning, in the afternoon or the evening. Again, I've had to put some paper there because I've got personal stuff things. And I really like the way this font turned out. I think it's really cool. And then down the side here, I've just got July tasks, things that I want to do. So for example, you know, I've been wanting to catch up on my YouTube backlog, which I've pretty much managed to do. So that's crossed off. I've tidied my bedroom. I've tidied my wardrobe shelf. Tidied the dining room. I just haven't kept on top of washing. Um, and then obviously there's a lot more. So say for example when I go to my weekly spreads. I'll be able to think oh I've got nothing to do today. Oh I'll come to my July tasks and see if there's anything that needs to do. So that's that. So you can't really see me but it's a lot later on. And Joshie's here, look. Oh. <laughs> I think it's time to call it a night. Good night.